Hello everyone, thank you for joining. Today we'll have the Wonderbot session. Wonderbot uh, uh, is one of the pioneers in RPA services and providing pre-built bots. Um, and uh, uh, it will be interesting to see the report bots, which is one of the uh, key report so reporting solutions in the market today. We've got uh, with us today Bhavyesh uh, Virani. Bhavyesh is the founder, founder and is also the managing partner at Wonderbots. Uh, he'll be taking us through an intro of Wonderbots. And then we have Kunal Doshi on the call. He will be giving us an intro. And then we'll go through the question and answers that we had from you, questions that we had from you guys. And then if you have any questions during the session, please put it in the chat and we'll take it up as uh, time permits. So without much ado, uh, Mr. Bhavyesh, over to you. Awesome. So thanks everyone for joining. Uh, once again, a quick introduction from my side, uh, Bhavish Rani. I'm, I'm uh, more important than managing partner in Wonderbots. I'm a hands-on developer, architect. Uh, that's kind of uh, has been my passion. Last about seven years, I've been focused on automation. I'm a professional developer, designer with uh, Blue Prism, UI path, so on and so forth. So that's kind of my current life, my previous life. I've I've been in various uh, large uh, transformation efforts focused heavily on financial services based insurance. And, and again, uh, very excited uh, to be here sharing some of our experiences and some of our products and solutions here today. So I also have uh, with me uh, Kunal. So Kunal, you want to introduce yourself? Sure. Thanks, Bhavish. Thanks, Nandan. So I'm a senior consultant at Wonderbots. I've been with the firm for, for the past, I think, three to three and a half years now. And it's been just filled with a variety of experiences, uh, working with multiple sectors of clients like uh, uh, insurance, uh, high technology, uh, media and entertainment, hospitality. So a really good range uh, of experience uh, working on different use cases such as finance and accounting, uh, uh, just operations, uh, payments, uh, accounts receivable, and lots of others. So uh, it's been a, it's been a uh, it's been a good time uh, working on automation right now. Uh, and just happy to be here with all of you. Thanks, Kunal. So what we're gonna do today, we have roughly about, I'm gonna definitely uh, save some time at the end for a QA and a session. So I thought we'll take about roughly uh, 40, 45 minutes. Uh, so we're gonna start with a quick introduction of Wonderbots. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about who, I, who we are at Wonderbots and what we do. Uh, we are, again, very, very passionate about what we call it as our pre-built solutions, which is literally out of the box, uh, for heavily skewed and focused towards finance and accounting. So we're going to give you a brief on that. Uh, I, I guess today's focus is going to be on one of our pre-built solution, uh, which is a report bots plus. That is one of our marquee product, which has been really taking the market with Tom right now. So we're going to, we're going to give you a Again, uh, an hour may not be adjusted for, for what we have here. So we're going to give you a high level uh, functionality on report bot plus. Uh, we would then also give you a demo. Uh, again, uh, Kunal is, is going to drive a lot of the demo for us today. And then at the end, we'll leave some time for our uh, Q&A session there. So, so with that, uh, a quick introduction in terms of who we are, Wonderbots. And I think we are, again, uh, very very humbly proud to be in this uh, sector and this industry at kind of right time, I would say. Uh, we we focus in and more in terms of like uh, creating that business outcome. Uh, that That's kind of our primary focus. Again, RPA being the core, but we have, we have been focusing more on the broad, which uh, of course Gartner coined the term now as hyper automation. So that's who we are. Uh, obviously, RPA still remains as the core uh, for us, but around that we do a lot of OCR, NLP, uh, chatbots, uh, how do I integrate with machine learning, uh, so on and so forth. So again, our uh, key focus here is our, if you talk to our clients, they will tell you that we get the work done no matter what. That's, that's pretty much has been our, we are absolutely straight talkers. We actually have, uh, ha have built our expertise over a period of time. Uh, right now we are into our fourth year. Uh, we're just finishing up literally four year being Wonderbots. Uh, we are headquartered at uh, Las Vegas here in the U.S. Uh, we have uh, practitioners pretty much all around here in the U.S. Uh, as well as in India. Um, we have our delivery center uh, out of uh, Ahmedabad uh, location in India, uh, which has been pretty much up and running. A uh, lot of our uh, build and design actually gets uh, done out of our India location. Uh, so that's who we are. 
Uh, in terms of what we provide, uh, again, uh, the top on the list is, is in, in, intentionally in that sequence, uh, uh, is our focus on pre-built solutions. So again, we have uh, lots, uh, lots and lots of uh, uh, pre-built assets and uh, functional solutions in the finance and accounting space, uh, which uh, we take to market. Um, we also help clients build uh, custom automations. Again, we have built custom automations in, in various areas, business areas, right from finance and accounting to operations, to human resources, to uh, uh, to legal and other areas as well. Uh, again, our focus has been cross-sector, as, as Kunal mentioned. Uh, we have some of the biggest names in the hospitality chain. Uh, we have names in insurance, financial services, media entertainment, high tech, uh, and literally across the board, we have been uh, serving different sectors. Uh, we are trainers ourselves. Uh, I guess that's, that's uh, fundamentally how we got started off, saying training ourselves. Uh, so we are trainers uh, of uh, underlying platforms. We also focus on enabling our clients uh, once they, uh, in making them self-sufficient. We are a strong believer that uh, a client would be a lot more successful once you are uh, helping them train themselves and, and be self-sufficient across literally uh, the entire gamut of different roles which uh, clients will need to play uh, as a part of that center of excellence. Um, again, from a turnkey operation, we support turnkey operations. Uh, we are right from strategy all the way to implementation. We also uh, manage and operate uh, some of the large installations for our client. Um, uh, so that's that's what, uh, in terms of the services we provide. Um, uh, the question is why work with us? Why do clients work with us and customers that uh, they are passionate about working with us? And why do folks uh, want to join Wonderbots? We are, uh, again, known for our innovative strategy and some of the things which uh, I'm sure Kunal and I will share today, uh, which will make it very real for you. Uh, our focus on design thinking it has been uh, very instrumental uh, in, in bringing that uh, change in the marketplace. Uh, so again, uh, as much as RPA, we call that as a swivel chair automation. Again, we have skewed more and more towards how do I use this as a more enterprise scale, and that obviously needs a very different mindset. Uh, so we have deep uh, understanding of what it takes uh, to build this enterprise scale automation. Uh, a lot of the, the assets and our approach, uh, what we have, again, uh, fine-tuned over a period of uh, a good number of years now ha has has been very successful in uh, taking a lot of these products and solutions very quickly. It gives you uh, a reduced risk, uh, very high and focused on quality. In fact, uh, talking about quality, uh, literally uh, every practitioner in our organization literally has been cross-trained on multiple platform, which is, which is very unique and that gives a very different perspective. Not only that, a majority of them actually have multiple certifications within the same platform you want. So it's not like a basic developer certification. Literally, we go above and beyond, uh, and that has led to the high um, quality of deliverables coming out. Uh, we have been recognized again uh, in the marketplace. We have been receiving various awards uh, right from our early days uh, to the most recent uh, where we were recognized uh, for uh, as our... Uh, as one of the lead uh, on uh, the solutions and also on the best practices side of it. Um, uh, so I want to spend maybe a little bit, a uh, few minutes on, on the pre-built solutions here. I guess that's our focus for today's discussion. Again, our pre-built solution has been recognized by uh, even Gartner uh, mentioned that uh, in one of the case study last, last year. So if you Google about uh, Wonderbots and Gartner, I'm sure you will, you will you will find an uh, article. If anybody's interested in, feel free to uh, reach out to one of us and we can provide you that. Uh, uh, so there was a mention about uh, what are the top five uh, use cases, uh, and then this was in February 2019. Uh, what are the top five use cases uh, which, which has been very active in the marketplace? And in fact, Gartner uh, mentioned uh, Wonderbots, uh, one of our solution for account reconciliation. Um, uh, which we call it as uh, recon bots, the BOTZ is, is kind of our, our catchy term, what we use for all of our products and solutions. Uh, so recon bots uh, was mentioned as one of the game changer uh, in the finance and accounting landscape. And that, that was just a beginning uh, in terms of uh, some of the things what we have in our uh, landscape here. Um, I, I know we're gonna do a Q&A session at the end, so, so I'm, I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll address
discuss some of uh, your questions. Uh, but Nandan, uh, I know you might be monitoring the, the queue there. If there's any specific thing which comes around and you feel it's relevant for us to address uh, right away, just feel free to uh, jump back uh, right in. Yeah. So awesome. So that's a little bit about us. Uh, so now that we know uh, who we are as with Wonderbots here, um, uh, in terms of our focus again on uh, finance and accounting, uh, and this is a little bit of a history there, more we do, more we realize that a lot of clients have a similar problem, uh, what they are trying to uh, cater to. Uh, and, and, and more and more we see the use cases in the finance and accounting space, and that's where we focus heavily on uh, some of the uh, areas within finance and accounting is record to report, procure to pay, order to cash, and a lot of other uh, miscellaneous uh, areas what we have been focusing on, which are more sector-based. Uh, again, the crux behind everything what we do uh, is on the horizontal three things here, uh, right on the bottom, we call that as our power pack. Um, those are our crux behind that entire concept of reusability, entire concept of that uh, enterprise scale mindset, object orientation mindset coming out of that uh, power pack. So that's our foundation. Literally every product, every asset, every solution what we have built is all using uh, some of these uh, power pack uh, which is sitting underneath there. Uh, we also have, again, um, engines, uh, what we call it as, and various design patterns. Again, a lot of us in our organization have, have grown up from the early days of uh, Java programming and, and, and .NET programming. And so a lot of that object orientation comes very natural. And a lot of those design patterns, what one would have learned in right from the early days of mainframe, uh, believe it or not, we actually have built our products and solutions using those patterns. Um, and then again, uh, these are different Lego blocks. Uh, we, we continue to build uh, multiple of these Lego blocks, and then they all they come together to give you that functional product and solution. So literally, most of our uh, products and solutions are built with that uh, plug and play mindset. Just as uh, in the hardware world, if you talk about, uh, if you buy a printer, you don't need to worry about whether that printer is gonna be compatible with my Windows or not. You just buy a printer, you plug it in, and then it up, it's up and running. That's a very similar mindset where, where from a design and the fundamentals uh, point of view, what we have built here. Uh, in, in terms of, uh, again, use cases, uh, and, and, and we are all passionate about this, we can talk a lot. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna to touch upon maybe a couple of these in each uh, area. So record to report, again, nearest and dearest to our hearts is our uh, finance and account reconciliation. Again, that is a reusable, um, uh, customizable. Uh, again, we're going to. We have been focused on what we, uh, what now we all know is low code, uh, no code kind of a construct, which means we are amper empowering our business community there to use all externalizations of parameters and everything to use the functionality. So now it doesn't matter whether you are trying to do a balance sheet reconciliation or you're trying to do a cash flow reconciliation or you're trying to do a PNL reconciliation, doesn't matter what. Whether that reconciliation is for US or for Europe or any geographical location, any sector, literally using that externalization of the parameters, uh, the, the, the module uh, is actually uh, comes to life uh, very quickly. Uh, so that's again the account reconciliation uh, functional uh, solution, uh, which we call it as recon bots, again, our one of our marquee uh, product. Procure to pay, uh, again, we have been focusing on uh, various things right from supplier onboarding to all the way down to, uh, to how do I have now the most efficient way uh, where we can have the invoices uh, processed uh, in organization. Again, uh, some of the solutions what we have on the invoicing has allowed our clients to literally automate very rapidly. And again, we are not talking about months and months, we are talking about literally in short couple of weeks that we are able to get uh, this up and running for our clients. Again, multiple languages, uh, very, very complex, even the utility uh, based uh, invoices also we have got up and running. Uh, order to cash, uh, again, uh, various products and solutions focused on that as well. Uh, but I want to maybe uh, come back to our uh, focus on report bots. Uh, 
So as we go across the organization, not just finance and accounting, whether it's record to report or procure to pay order to cash, if you look at sales, if you look at HR, if you look at operations, uh, if you look at organizations like banks or insurance companies or media firms, you would literally see an army of folks. They usually have army of folks in most of these organizations. All they do is connect to different or log into different reporting platforms, whether it's Cognos or Business Objects or, or, or um, doesn't matter whether it's one of the latest and the greatest dashboarding platforms here. They all are involved in logging in, connecting, scheduling, monitoring, making sure the report gets downloaded. A lot of these reports, again, has lots of formatting, reformatting. More importantly, a lot of consolidation needs to be done. So for example, uh, for one of our clients, we are talking to them uh, of how do they produce their management report for their sales part of the organization. And, and guess what? They, they pull data from multiple systems, download the reports. Uh, they're all in different format, different layout. They would remove columns, add columns, change titles, consolidate the data together, and then finally create that nice looking dashboard or nice looking PowerPoint slide, uh, which they would want to ship it over to their exact team. Uh, that entire process, what we just described, we see that happening in record to report space, we see that happening in procure to pay, order to cash, uh, across different uh, business areas. That is the business problem. What we have addressed, what we have tried to uh, address as a part of our solution, uh, which is report parts uh, plus. And in fact, we'll, we'll talk about why we call that as a plus. Uh, just as we have C sharp uh, and C plus uh, plus, this is uh, report bots, and then we uh, added a pretty robust additional functionality on top of that, which we made is optional, and that's where the the term of report bots plus came into play. Once we find another major functionality on top of it, we might even talk about report bot plus plus maybe uh, sometime next year there. So that's that's a little bit about uh, report bots plus um, and then uh, how it came to uh, to to play and what business problem uh, we are we are trying to solve here. So what I'm going to do uh, here is uh, and just to give a little bit of a different flavor of a voice here. Um, I'm going to maybe uh, just play a very short uh, two to three minutes video clip here which will kind of give you a, a very high level summary uh, of what uh, Report Bots Plus is about. Uh, once that video clip is done, I would again come back and then deep dive into some of the key features and functionality. And then we will be uh, handing over uh, to Kunal uh, to walk us through a, a more detailed demo there. Uh, but let me uh, go ahead and play uh, audio video clip there, uh, which should give you a little bit uh, further flavor to this. So just to bear with me guys here while I do this. And I know when I share my screen, there comes an option by which I can say share computer sound. Okay, so let me go ahead and do this. All right, I'm gonna quickly start and I would expect one of you, uh, so Kunal, maybe for you to just confirm that you guys are able to hear this. Do you value, you value Excel, Excel and Power? power yeah, Coming out okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna let this play now. So, uh, but Pavish, you don't have the correct Do you value Excel? Excel? You don't have the correct window, sorry? window shared. You don't have the correct window oh. shared right now. Oh, really? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Yep. There we go. Take three. <laughs> Do you value Excel and PowerPoint skills more than you value the ability to generate insights? Is your team spending more time assembling management reports than on analyzing business results? Does leadership use elaborate workbooks to run the business? 
Just imagine, what if we automated those PowerPoint and Excel reports you do by hand today, combining data from multiple sources into your analysis? And what if we could do it with full data lineage and without losing flexibility? Could you find more valuable work for your team, like developing new and better insights? Introducing WonderBots Report Bots Plus. It's a single solution to manage your reporting needs and automate management report packages without having to code. It's a thousand automations in a single solution. The power is in the reports package, a config file managed by the users. Reports package controls when it runs, what the outputs look like, who gets the outputs, and where and how the outputs are delivered. Case study, report generation and distribution. Using ReportBots Plus Scheduling, our client serves users worldwide and recovers over 7,000 hours. Starting with three reports, they quickly grew to 30 daily, weekly, and monthly reports that run 18,000 a year in total. The reports are distributed to recipients throughout the world and are used by other bots. The productivity improvement enabled them to reassign three and one half FTEs to more valuable work. Case study, consolidate revenue report by outlet. Using a reports package config file with no additional coding in ReportBots Plus, our client meets tough SLAs and recovers over 10,000 covers over 10, hours, hours annually through this single report consolidation. Every day, Every day week, and each week, roughly, they received roughly 800 data sources. Data is extracted and loaded into the predefined analysis, analysis templates. Template. Customized output, output is sent to 200 data different recipients within one hour of receiving the source data. It's an 83% productivity improvement, enabling them to reassign five FTEs to more valuable work to refresh reports and analysis by hand. Then ReportBots Plus is your must-have solution. How ReportBots Plus works. ReportBots Plus is a hard-working solution. First, you request a run, either on a schedule, on demand from an authorized user, or from another bot. Next, it uses connectors to get the requested data, working with your existing reporting platforms, taking data off of screens, running SQL queries, and even reading PDF files. It can adjust the data I think he might have gotten disconnected. His, his video is off as well. Maybe. All right, let's give him a minute. Um, sure. Instead of giving an echo to. Uh, yeah, I, I felt that as well. Sorry about that, people. Let's hope uh, Bhavish is able to return. Otherwise, Kunal, do you have the demo on your computer? Yeah, I do. Okay. So let's give him a minute if he's taking time. Sure. Let's start it again. Yep. Did Technical difficulties are a part of every Zoom meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, we have not tried this video sharing, so Bhavish is back. Okay. So. Perfect. Okay. Hi, Bhavish. We lost you for a minute. You are on mute. Can you unmute? Not sure what happened, but I think I uh, somehow my network dropped. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that was part of the demo effect. But I, I guess what we're going to do is this, the, the, the video what I was playing actually is there on Vimeo. So we will definitely send across the link over. Mm -hmm. Uh, Kunal and I, I think as a part of the discussion, we're going to be talking about some of these as well. So why don't we move on? Uh, and I, I think I'll, I'll give more of a voiceover uh, when we go over this. And I'm sure uh, Kunal will, will cover that as a part of the demo too. Okay. Um, and, and we'll definitely uh, share uh, with everyone the, the link at the end of this. Yeah, yeah. And any resources, send me the links. I'll send it over to people. Sure. Awesome. 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 All right. So, so again, I think what we were trying to summarize here is, uh, again, a hardworking solution and really, really hardworking solution here. Uh, what it does is effectively, uh, it, it, it 
um, it, it does these in five steps. Uh, the first one is, um, again, uh, this the concept here is more enterprise scale mindset. And I'm gonna give you a couple of examples here for one of the, now I'm, I'm gonna continue with that same uh, sales organization as a, as a use case here. Again, for this particular sales organization, they uh, on a monthly basis, they would download about 500 different reports connected to five different reporting platforms. They have Cognos, they have Hyperion, believe it or not. Uh, they also use business objects and multiple other homegrown solutions. In certain cases, we also had to navigate through a mainframe to extract one particular number out of their ERP system. Uh, again, if you look at this, multiple sources, uh, whether reporting, non-reporting, extract the data, um, and literally they would actually do this on a, on a regular basis, not only for one region, they would repeat the whole thing for multiple regions. So in this particular situation, we introduce the concept of package. So package is effectively the set of reports which one needs to schedule, monitor, download, format, reformat, consolidate, and then finally bring it into that presentation mode, uh, whether it's Power BI or PowerPoint or whatever that end result is. Uh, that is again, uh, what we call it as a package. So that's the package definition for report bots. In this case, you can request the entire package. Uh, again, we provide multiple features on that, which I will drill down shortly. Uh, once the package has been scheduled, yeah, it actually robot works and gets the data needed. Again, if it's a reporting platform, it may be downloading of a re report. Uh, in some cases, you also have data uh, coming in a PDF format. Again, we have a plugin or an engine available, which actually will push it to Abby uh, or any other OCR platform. And again, get the extract the data out of it. So it's got all integrated within that. Uh, it's got lots of bells and whistles and alerts and things like that, which I will talk about. But in if, in this situation, the client says, or their functionality does not need any formatting, reformatting, consolidation, what you see is what you get. Then the three and four becomes optional. And that's where the first release of our report bots was actually uh, doing requesting reports, monitoring, getting the data, and then delivering that result over to the end user. And delivery of the results could be in multiple formats, whether, uh, whether as, uh, whether via email or you would be copying to network drive, downloading into SharePoint, whatever that media of that distribution is. When we looked at uh, more complex use cases, we, we realized that there is additional feature which actually is gonna take this quadruple the value of what folks will get out of report bots and that's our plus feature now, which again has been extremely useful and I'm sure Kunal as, as he's going through the demo is gonna talk uh, some of the use cases what he has worked on, um, which actually allows you to very easily, again, I'm gonna use the term low code, no code, Literally, there is no programming at all needed. There is no change even in an RPA product needed. All a business uh, we have empowered the business community to do is use a very simple external parameter uh, construct where they can uh, define what they want to format, reformat, remove columns, uh, add new columns, change titles, whatever that uh, mechanism needed there. And then again, uh, we are able to also bring data from multiple places together to consolidate that and finally deliver that in the form of uh, whatever that presentation layer is. So that's what the three and the four steps comes into play. So overall, Report Bots Plus has got five steps, a request run, get data, adjusting the output, consolidating multiple reports into a single one, whether and then pushing it into that final presentation layer, whether in form of a most sophisticated live dashboards or in the form of maybe Excel templates, whatever that is. And then finally delivering these results all in a very controlled way, making sure that there is a full blown audit trail. Uh, there, there is a right mechanism built in so that no unauthorized individuals is able to either get access to this uh, right from the request stage all the way to the uh, delivery. And again, anything which goes wrong, uh, again, it's not something that somebody has to stare at the monitor. It actually has got, again, low code, no code customization possible to, uh, to make this alerts get pushed uh, to uh, the right uh, recipient there. 
So that's the kind of five steps here. And of course, uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of these steps uh, before handing over to uh, Kunal for a demo. Um, in terms of uh, uh, the first step here, uh, I think I, I kind of talked uh, quite a bit about the request. I wanna talk a little bit about now, uh, where do I and how do I get the data? Again, the connectors concept, which we, uh, which uh, I don't know if, if you guys were able to hear that or not in the video, but the connectors are our, our I would say, uh, uh, secret sauce behind how this whole thing has been built. Uh, so these connectors have been built by which uh, you can connect to any of your reporting platform, whether it's again, uh, SAP Business Objects, Cognos, Hyperion, uh, whatever that, that platform is. Uh, it also has got functionality by which you can connect it using some API calls. We have seen more and more clients actually have uh, pretty robust uh, uh, homegrown functionality, which you want to cater to, and then you would wrap it with API. Uh, we also have mechanism plugged in uh, by which you can use Abby or any other OCR platforms again uh, to connect to and get the data from that. So you provide that unstructured, semi-structured PDF and you get the structured data coming out of it. Or it may be plain, simple SQL. And quite often we have seen organizations say, let's, let's not worry about all the reporting layer. I know that I can give you that data. It's a, it's a massive amount of volume. Again, this solution caters to, we're not talking about 10,000, 100,000. We're talking about millions of transactions. And if you want to process them, churn them very quickly, uh, the, the solution again is able to do that. And that's again, a lot of the secret behind how uh, this has been built. Uh, built. Uh, we are again, uh, best of breed kind of a mindset there. Uh, things you can do using RPA, other things you need uh, traditional platforms and technology. It's again, that combination of multiple of these technologies, what uh, this uh, super duper report bot plus brings everything together. You can also read off from the screen. If you don't have reporting platform, as I mentioned, for one of the use case, we had to navigate through their ERP package, uh, mainframe based, uh, navigate and put, take a particular element out of it. Again, very uh, powerful feature there. Um, we have again connectors, uh, as, as I mentioned, uh, not only to underlying reporting platforms, we support uh, Power BI, Click, uh, we have Tableau connectors, Lots of our clients have been using uh, as, uh, Oracle. We have various uh, clients on, on Oracle. Uh, again, uh, Cognos, again, we have another. In fact, today, uh, as a matter of fact, not to steal uh, Kunal Thunder there, but hint, hint, is gonna be, uh, is gonna be uh, uh, connecting to one of these reporting platforms connectors today uh, to, uh, to give us a demo there. Once we uh, get the data, that's when kind of the whole angle comes in. And this is my favorite slide. Uh, my, my partner, I forgot uh, to, as a part of introduction, his name is Steve Laval, one of the sharpest uh, brains I've seen creativity wise. So he put this together and I'm like, ah, oh, this actually makes sense. A plain paper, I'm actually trying to fold in different ways to get that final uh, paper plane out of it. And that's exactly what we see uh, clients try to do. Uh, they would download these for data, they would bring it together in Excel, they would try to bring different uh, combinations of things, format, reformat, fold them together, remove columns, add columns, add pivot tables, do tons of different things on top of it to finally get that reformatted outcome. Again, uh, functionality wise, we have given, and this is just by the way, uh, a sample, what you see here. We have literally, and if I'm not mistaken, roughly about what 300 different uh, actions, what we have, 300. Very robust, powerful. We have 300 different actions uh, built, uh, or what we call it as our enhancement and consolidation rules, um, what we call it as. And, and this overall, the four and the five together, we call that as ETP, which is extract, transform, and present. So that's our ETP engine. We have about roughly a few hundred uh, ETP rules, uh, what we have, uh, whether it's for Excel or SQL Server, or again, from presentation layer point of view, PowerPoint is another example, Power BI, and, and of course, a lot of different file management functions. But the end, at the end of all of these, what is relevant is now, how can I deliver this? Again, you could deliver this, to a set of folks, uh, you could have, and this again, a very practical use case, which you will see more and more in the industry. 
uh, we have situations where you would do uh, all that churning of the data. And in fact, uh, for uh, a lot of uh, background from, from my side and Kunal and others uh, in our organization is from large transformation. If you look at finance transformation as an example there, the key goal of finance transformation is actually to, to help bring efficiency in the finance closing process, making sure that you have the right quality with that level of confidence, with that level of precision and, and the timeliness of that data. That needs a lot of churning of data. And eventually you might have senior execs get one view on that, your operational team may get a second view of that final outcome and your maybe other um, uh, leadership team may be getting a different view. Again, this allows you to a no code, low code setup. Uh, using that, uh, it allows you to distribute this via emails or you can save it onto network drives, SharePoints. If things go good, great, nobody's gonna complain. If things don't work really well, again, I may want to receive some alerts and notifications and escalations and all of the things, uh, again, uh, pre-built uh, and customizable uh, with uh, some of the simple tweaks in terms of the parameter there. So that's, that's kind of overall uh, step one, two, five. Uh, at the end, what you get out of this, and I'm sure I would let uh, Kunal kind of summarize some of these uh, when he, uh, when he gives a demo. Uh, so with this, uh, unless uh, Mandan, you have any specific queries coming out of it, otherwise I would want to hand it over to uh, Kunal to uh, give us a little bit of uh, that. Uh, I'm sure I'm also very itchy right now to see the screen and then to <laughs> see that demo there. So why don't we have Kunal take it from there? Unless uh, Mandan, if you have any specific queries right now. There, there is a query, but I think we can take it up as part of the Q&A. Let's okay. see the demo. Awesome. Hand it over to you for now. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Bhavesh, for that uh, detailed uh, explanation. So here, I think, is anyone else hearing? Getting, a... getting an echo. There's something you need to mute out there. I think, uh, Bhavesh, can you yeah, mute yourself? Let me, yeah, let me go ahead and mute myself. Okay. Is it better now? Yes. Yeah, okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so this is the demo for the Report Bots Plus functionality that I, I'll be showing you here. Uh, we have taken up uh, one particular example with one connector uh, where we are gonna be uh, pulling the data from the system uh, and then doing some transformation on top of that and also delivery. So we are gonna be looking through each and every part of the Report Bots Plus cycle here uh, and I'll just, I'll just get started then. Right, so, uh, so first of all, uh, why, what is the need for Report Bots Plus? So uh, as we've seen with multiple clients at this point is that for uh, each knowledge worker, uh, as they go ahead, uh, as, as they, they stay in that role for, for longer and longer times, what happens is that uh, a larger and larger amount of their workday uh, gets used up for, uh, for, ju uh, for just low value processes like pulling data from different systems, combining them together, building a report for executive management or, or for the team. Uh, and so, so as, that, as, the, as time passes, uh, work like this increases uh, in their workday. So because of this, they're not able to focus on high value work where, they're actually, uh, where their actual analysis skills can be used more uh, and where they can add human value. So in terms of, uh, so, so to, to bypass that kind of, uh, a reduction in, in high value work. Uh, we have we ha uh, we have implemented report bots plus at multiple client locations, uh, and what we have seen is that uh, not only have this uh, have there been like a reduction in low value work and like less usage of their of their daily time uh, on 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 stuff like reporting, calculations, uh, Excel manipulations, swivel chair, uh, operational work. Uh, there's been a reduction in those things, uh, but as well as uh, they are able to use their time in more high value processes and more uh, analysis uh, based tasks where they can actually add uh, their expertise and, their, uh, and they can add actual human value to those processes. Uh, and based because of our implementations, we've also seen that they are also sort of pivot into new, more better roles where they can be more uh, of more use uh, to the organization that they work for. 
so as we've seen here is that uh, 80% of their work gets uh, 80% of of the knowledge workers day gets used up in these kind of low value processes uh, and once we do implement report bots plus there is a gradual reduction uh, of those low value processes and they can get back to doing stuff that actually matters so uh as Bhavish uh, uh, explained, the, we have the five steps of Report Bots Plus here. Uh, the, uh, I will go through each of these one by one in detail. Uh, so the first one is the requesting of the run. So whenever there is a reporting requirement, uh, it usually starts with uh, that when would, when would this report be needed? So for that reason, uh, with Report Bots Plus, we have the functionality through the parameter externalization to, to request a report at any time uh, and on any schedule. So for example, if you have a report which you want on a monthly basis or on a weekly basis, let's say I just want the report on like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that can be done. I just want the week, uh, the, uh, the report on Mondays, that's fine too. Uh, I want the report on like uh, on the fifth of every month, that's, that's also available through uh, through the report bots plus functionality. And again, these kinds of customizations can be done directly through, through the parameter externalization without any changes to the code. So that's one of the, uh, that's one of the huge benefits of the, uh, of the uh, request run step of report bots plus so that uh, the work, uh, the team can get the reports uh, when they want it. Uh, so this this is usually uh, very helpful in like month end closes when they want to schedule a, uh, a schedule a report let's say on the last day of the month or something so that's where uh, our clients have also found value so let me actually start uh, get started on the demo piece of it so yeah so just uh, want to add one thing here so what you might be seeing right now is a blue prism a version of it again uh, we have uh, other flavors as well for UiPath and other RP automation platforms too. So what you're looking at right now is the Blue Prism flavor. Yep. So we have designed Report Bots Plus in a manner that it is platform agnostic. It could work with multiple different RPA platforms. But what you're seeing currently is, is the Blue Prism flavor of it. So right now, uh, what it's doing is uh, it has received the request from the parameter externalization file. And it is just parsing through that and looking at uh, when does the uh, when does the client want the want the report to be done? What are the different parameters for it? Uh, what are the connectors that it is connecting to? Uh, and as you can see, uh, once we have uh, once we are once the process is done with the with the actual uh, request run of it, uh, we can see that uh, there are uh, there are multiple queue items sitting in the queue for this particular report. So if you'll see here uh, that they have received uh, a new report request, which is for SAP Concur reporting. Uh, and it is currently uh, under the status that, okay, that the report has been, rec has been received and, uh, and now it needs to be run. So once the reporting request is received, uh, we would start with again, uh, with the next step, which is actually running the report. So now that it has been scheduled, let's say that time comes, let's say it is the, it is the last day of the month. Uh, at this point, the uh, the solution will pick up the the request and start running. So, as Bhavesh mentioned, uh, for this particular demo, we are using SAP Concur uh, as the connector, uh, which we'll be uh, which we'll be fetching data from. So, so I say the the backbone of the reporting for SAP Concur is in IBM Cognos. Uh, so that is the basically the reporting platform that we have in this demo right now. So once uh, so once we have defined the connector here, uh, it will use the parameters in the externalization file to go forward, uh, do each step. It will, uh, you can even give it the, uh, give it the customization uh, based on like what format do you want it in? Uh, what is the, what are the different parameters? So for example, uh, here we have a couple of parameters in place here. Like for example, the date range, uh, uh, those can be passed on and those can be uh, made flexible as well. So right now it is uh, it is submitting the report uh, request uh, and now that the report request has been submitted, uh, currently uh, Cognos takes some time to uh, to generate this the final output of this report. Uh, the report will now be uh, 
So now we see that uh, the report has been requested, but it is still awaiting uh, the final output of the report, which will be the next step of it. So you can, ha so we had had a case with one of our clients, which is a high technology company, uh, where they had a financial ERP system where they would request a certain report and it would take about like, a, I would say like a couple of hours for the, for the data to be generated for the final output to be generated. So uh, just through the, just through the externalization, they could mention that, okay, look, go ahead and look for this report after, after a couple of hours, uh, once it has been generated so that during that time, uh, the solution can work on other reports and it's not just like tied up in that one single report. So here uh, we see that now that we have reached the time when the data would have been generated, uh, it would go back to the system. Uh, it would launch it uh, and open the reporting system of uh, SAP Conquer uh, and then go ahead uh, and, and look for the newly uh, generated report that we want. So here in this case, as we can see, uh, the report has been generated. It's an expense report. Uh, SAP Conquer is an expense management platform. So uh, that's what our output is. And now it has downloaded that particular uh, report to the, uh, to the folder. Uh, so at this point, it will, uh, it will, uh, it, it will, the, the next step for this is to now the plus functionality. Uh, the plus functionality comes in for the, uh, for the steps four and five out of the five step process that we talked about. So here, uh, now that we have the source data from the system, it will go ahead and, and manipulate the data to make it, uh, to make it more uh, consumable by, by management uh, uh, so, that, uh, so that they don't uh, need to look at just the raw data, but they can uh, literally look at all the insights that, we, uh, that, that have been gathered from the data. Right, so now uh, at this point, the, the plus functionality will get started. And again, this is, as Babesh mentioned, it is extremely flexible uh, and it can work uh, with, with multiple different platforms such as Excel, PowerPoint, uh, and we have close to about 300 different, uh, different actions that we use uh, across different, uh, different uh, calculation platforms such as like SQL, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, file systems. Uh, FTP, all those, uh, all those different, uh, uh, different systems we can use for data manipulation and also data consolidation. So, uh, as we saw, there were there were quick, quick flashes of Excel and PowerPoint uh, in the previous steps. I, you might have missed it, but what they were basically is that it is actually the the solution is actually going in, looking at the data, doing those uh, those separate multiple actions one after the other, uh, and then and then creating the final output, which is going to be a presentation. And uh, we have seen that, uh, like, if you want to make a change in the uh, in the sequence of calculation, or if you want to change a little Excel formula, or add a new column with a new formula, all those things are very quick and easy to do because the solution has been defined, has been designed in a very flexible, uh, easy to use, no code, low code way. And now we move on to the final step, which is the delivery of the results. So here. Uh, uh, here the, the final presentation has been created uh, and it needs to be sent out via email. So uh, as we would see soon here, so here is the email that was sent out by the solution uh, to Bhavesh uh, and you can send it to, uh, to anyone to, you can send it to like a distribution list or multiple people in, uh, in CC or, or even to like, uh, or even to send a certain slice of the report data to a certain person in the, in your team. So for example, as, as, as Bhavesh mentioned, your management would get one report, your team leads would get a different report, uh, but the underlying source data would be the same. Uh, and that uh, the calculation is what sets it apart for the different, for the different folks. So as we can see here, that was the final output, uh, the presentation. Uh, file that is in the uh, as an that is sent as an attachment here, uh, which was sent over to which was which was delivered uh, to Bavish, and this is what the uh, the final data looks like. And again, uh, it's not just uh, the delivery is not just supported for email; it is also for like shared drive file systems, uh, as well as 
other BI platforms where you need to push data for, for existing dashboards or new ones. So that is available as well as part of the delivery, uh, delivery of, of Report Box Plus. So again, just to, uh, just to reiterate, uh, the benefits are absolutely clear here. Uh, we are saving folks time uh, from low value work where they just need to go to multiple systems, click through, uh, do some Excel manipulation, uh, and then basically deliver those results. So we are taking all of that human low value work and then using our solution to automate it to create value for, uh, for, for, for your employees as well as the entire organization. So I think we are close to the hour. So I would say uh, I'll hand it over to Bhavesh so that we can uh, get on with the Q&A. Awesome, great. Thanks, Kunal. Uh, so again, we have a few more minutes remaining. Uh, happy to take questions. Uh, before, before I hand it to to Nandan for questions, uh, I want to make one announcement for folks who are here who are listening to this offline. Uh, we are actually, for selected set of clients, we are giving away Report Bots Plus. Uh, Report Bots Plus, we are giving away. Uh, to uh, build that further momentum in the marketplace. So if you are one of those qualified companies, uh, please reach out to uh, uh, either Kunal or I, uh, or reach out to any one of us at Wonderbots, and we're happy to uh, to kind of have that uh, dialogue with you. So with that, Nandan, uh, hand it over to you to uh, see if there's any interest and questions coming out of this. All right, thank you, Bhavish. Um, so we have around five minutes over. Good, good to know that you have an offer on the table. <laughs> Uh, hope folks take it. Uh, we have around 20 people and so five minutes. So uh, let's go to the first question in the chat. Uh, Ayush was asking, what if there are five systems involved to get me the data and do some processing? Can report what handle it? The great I question, Ayush. Can, but then I just wanted you to. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, no, good, really good question, Ayush. So again, uh, the, the way it, uh, the platform works, it allows you to, again, externalization of parameter you would say for report number one, I want to use connector to uh, let's say SAP business objects. For report number two, I want to connect maybe to Cognos, uh, so on and so forth. Yes, so the answer is uh, solution allows you to configure this right again, low code, no code uh, setup to connect to whatever platform you would want to have. Uh, I have one follow-up question, Kunal, in the uh, thing, you, uh, in the demo you showed, uh, it was you were accessing SAP Confer and then some reporting solution too, right? Cognos, which was that? Yes, there was Cognos. Cognos, and then so do you take the report out of Cognos and send it out, or was that the report that you sent it out? Yes. Yeah, so 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 the way SAP Concur works is that the reporting side of SAP Concur is uh, it uses IBM Cognos as the backbone. So oh. so we would go to the Cognos piece of it and then fetch the report from there. Uh, Sandeep, you had a question. You want to unmute and ask that? Sure. Uh, so my question is uh, to, I mean, either Konal or uh, Babiesh, um, uh, any one of you. So uh, in terms of uh, dynamicity of the, the report bots plus, right, uh, in terms of connecting to legacy homegrown uh, systems uh, in conjunction with uh, SAP Conquer, uh, what's, the, uh, what's the level of dynamicity that the solution has in terms of connecting to solutions like, uh, if you've heard of a system called BAN, which is, uh, again, a legacy homegrown system, which is pretty outdated. Uh, but in terms of uh, things like that, how, how uh, easy is it in order to integrate with those uh, kind of uh, applications? Thank you for that question, Sandeep. And I'm glad to hear that we still have folks using that application, right? And <laughs> <laughs> so so that, that will date uh, both uh, you and I in terms of our number of years in the industry. Uh, <laughs> uh, but to answer your question there, uh, yes, uh, so that is again the whole concept of connector. Um, Again, uh, the, the connector which allows you to, uh, to so far as your underlying platform, we are able to connect using RPA or using AI, uh, API, or whatever that uh, connector which can be built there. Report Box Plus will actually make a request saying this is a report. You would actually use your RPA functionality or, a, or a API call, and that's where your underlying platform would do whatever needed. Right, and as I said, Report Bots Plus is going to hand over the request. You have a connector which is built, which does that job, sends the message back to our Report Bots Plus saying it's done. After some time, Report Bots Plus again will send a message saying, "Get me the data." Again, you would do whatever needed, give me the data back. So if you see the the, the actions here, 
is all plug and play. And that is okay. no change needed in the overall report bots functionality. Just plug in that connector and you're up and running. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Babish. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you, Babish. Thank you, Sandeep. So, um, Son, uh, Hal Anthony had a question before uh, as part of the you know uh, question and answers when they registered was uh, you know they, they was curious about some history about Wonderbot and how Wonderbot came about and you know, if you can share that sure so so again uh, the, the roots for us is that, that we saw the need uh, a tremendous need in the marketplace again everybody is looking for one golden horse we, we thought that RPA is that golden horse which we want to ride. Uh, Steve and I were actually at EY helping uh, one of the big four, helping them set up their practice. Uh, and we decided to uh, start something of our own. And that's where the roots of Wonderbots came into play. Uh, our philosophy has been very different uh, than the marketplace. We believe in a deep expertise. This is all we do for a living kind of a thing. And that gives you that different level of experience and different level of maturity. Uh, that is what we have been lucky to have folks like uh, uh, Kunal and, and uh, other folks in our organization, both here in the U.S. as well as in India, uh, I think that's where the maturity has, has uh, taken us to a different level. And we look forward to expanding further into the the very interesting hyper automation space, right? And uh, then I think more and more I, I see you uh, into that space and, and you talk to other folks as well. So we are all excited to be part of that journey. Yeah, and I keep telling people that I was doing hyper automation probably four or five years back. So. <laughs> you must have seen that. Just yeah. a new term, I guess, right? Um, yeah, exactly. but, right. So I think you did mention that you were doing some training, and then I think that's how you progressed towards uh, building some more of this as a pre built solution, right? And then yeah, no, it, providing services. Right. No, no. What, what I meant was our goal was always to be a service, all uh, one single stop shop uh, service provider. Uh, again, we started with as a trainer because that again gave us a good entry into some of these. Not only that, we wanted to train our folks uh, on, on building their enterprise skill mindset. So we started with a lot of those efforts early in the days. Yeah. Again, right. we still today are, are trainers for our various corporate clients as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So one last question before we go. Um, you know, I, I see you have pre-built solution and that's been like one of my key things as I built my practice in Fujitsu as well. Um, and I think, you know, uh, most people think alike, <laughs> not just great people, but um, uh, especially in the RPA space. But one uh, challenge I've seen is, uh, you know, each client is different. So, uh, and, and one more thing I did notice is that, uh, you know, finance and accounting comes up as one of the things which is uh, uh, high in the automation list all, all the time, because, you know, you've got standard processes. Maybe operations have more automation, uh, you know, uh, possibilities, but then, uh, finance is very standard, so you get to, you know, standardize it and automate it. So uh, how has been the pre-built functionality with uh, finance and with different clients? Uh, how, how is that working? Great point. Yeah, in fact, as a matter of fact, uh, our pre-built solutions, uh, majority of them are actually focused on finance and accounting space. Uh, again, right. as much as we know, that the clients feel that they do different, they, they work differently, whether it's their, their ERP-based environment, or whether it's Oracle or SAP or whatever that is, or their homegrown, again, uh, fact of the matter is they're all trying to work towards a common goal of bringing efficiency in their finance and accounting process. So our focus on these solutions has not been technical focus, it has been more business outcome-based focus. And that has actually made our solutions more reusable and has made it possible for us to design this in such a way that doesn't matter whether the client is actually in a media firm or using SAP or you are a high tech firm using Oracle. Um, doesn't matter whether you're an US based client or you're a Europe based client. Uh, they all have been able to uh, plug and play using that again, business outcome based mindset. So our solutions are all catering to a business and less and less about underlying technology. And that's what, again, the whole RPA uh, is about, right? Uh, it's exactly. less focused on underlying platforms. Exactly, great. And that's a great meta point to end with, right? Because think about RPA from a business perspective and you'll see more possibilities and think beyond the tool, right? So I think on that note, uh, great to end. Thank you so much, Bhavyesh, for joining in. Uh, Kunal, thanks for the demo. 
uh, and I'll, I'll put out this uh, demo, this recording out there. If you guys have any resources, please do send it to me and I'll share it with you. Awesome, will do, will do. Again, thanks, Nandan. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Really appreciate this forum and look forward to uh, connecting with you, some of you, in the future. And Nandan, thanks again for your effort on a broadly speaking in, in terms of uh, bringing a lot of these to the, to the marketplace. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining. See you next Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.